for Loungefly. So I head up our amazing team of creatives who make all of the product that we're selling here today. Beautiful. Since we're here at Comic Con, tell us a little bit about the wonderful products that we have behind us for SDCC exclusives. Oh my gosh. So we have some of the best exclusives this year. We have our Stranger Things Demi Gorgon, which has been selling out first every day. We have Kate Bishop. We have our Tuscan Raider. We have our first ever High Republic um, bag from Star Wars for any comic fans out there. High Republic, uh, Gamora, our first ever Gamora cosplay, and one of my favorites, Carl from Up, and he has like tweed fabric and corduroy, and all the textures on the bag are just amazing. Oh, and Skeleton Stitch. Everyone loves Skeleton Stitch. Oh, skeleton Stitch is really cute. Yeah, he glows in the dark, so like, who doesn't want to glow in the dark stitch? That's what I was going to say. I noticed with a lot of your SDCC exclusives, you had like a glow in the dark theme or a light up theme. Was there an inspiration for that? Yeah, so we've seen throughout time that our fans love when our bags have like a secondary component. So like during the day, your bag looks like this. And then if there's a way to transform the bag or light up the bag, I think especially when you're out at events or at Disneyland or Universal Studios, it's really fun to have a bag that you can interact with and like transform during your day. Beautiful. Um, what was one of the products that you were the most excited for uh, for SDC? And then following that, what's something on the website that's right now that you're like, oh, this needs to be, everyone needs to have this, it's my obsession on the website. So I would say that I'm really excited that we have a crossbody for an exclusive this year. So our Ahsoka crossbody, we typically do mostly mini backpacks for our SDCC exclusives. But we've been getting a lot of love on our more elevated crossbodies, and everyone loves Ahsoka. So I'm excited that we were able to offer a crossbody for our fans of crossbodies. And on the website right now, what I think is the most exciting thing is not everybody knows that we've started to do lounge fly apparel. So there are a lot of hoodies, t shirts, um, dresses, skirts that coordinate back to your accessories. So for me, I really want to scare fans, dig into the website check out what we have in pins, apparel, and things outside of bags because we're really moving towards becoming more of a full lifestyle brand. Beautiful. Oh, your mission statement says that with Loungefly, your guys' mission is to make products that help ex celebrate fandoms alike, but also uh, have an expression to be able to be shared with everybody. With Especially with these uh, SDCC exclusives, how did you guys stay true to that with these kind of like, options? Well, I think the most important thing when we're looking at what we're choosing and what we're doing for exclusives is we want to offer those evergreen characters that people love, right? Like Gamora and Stitch. But then we want to make sure that we're covering all of our fans. So in order to be inclusive and include everybody, we have characters that maybe have not gotten any love. Like, when is the last time you saw any merch from an American Tale? Our Fifel bag is doing phenomenal here, just phenomenal. And so many people have that memory as a kid, watching that movie, singing the song, snuggling with this stuffed animal yes. like it's just a favorite so i think we just continue to strive to bring those nostalgic moments that people connect with and just have to have in their collection absolutely i like what i love about loungefly is the attention to detail yes that all of your products have with everything yes we're all about the details the easter eggs we want to tell that story in the most unique way that we can um, we like to stay out of style guides and create our own artwork. We work with amazing studios that allow us to really get creative and do our own thing. And we're so grateful for that because it allows us to bring the most unique products to our fans. Beautiful. And then since you are the uh, VP of oh my God, Creative, <laughs> can you explain to everyone the full uh, of what that actually means, is that job description? So what that means is that myself along with my partner who is the VP of merchandising uh, who lost his voice last night uh, we are the ones that we look at everything that's happening in the world right like what movies are releasing all the studios we work with what our fan feedback is on bags and we have a plan throughout the year of what we want to cover what new ideas we have we have an amazing creative team that is constantly bringing ideas to the table we're always reading your comments on Instagram TikTok so please don't think that if you're commenting, no one's reading it. I'm reading it. I'm reading it. I want to know what you guys want. We definitely take uh, our fan suggestions into account. And we want to cover every fandom, every character. Um, so in our role, we're planning. And then we're working with our amazing creative team to constantly
concept out what these bags look like. What materials are we sourcing? Um, you know, how can we innovate this bag? How can we elevate it, make it better? What new categories do our fans want to see? So we're really the ones driving all of the, the ideas for the product and working with the creative team. Beautiful. And where can everyone find these products for SDCC? You can either come to our booth if you're here or you can go to loungefly.com and make sure to always follow us on all the social channels, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, we're doing for everybody at home this weekend, we're doing some fun giveaways across our social channels. Um, and we always, that's where you go to find the newest releases, all the um, collection drop dates and all the information you need so you don't miss out on that perfect bag that you need. Beautiful. And uh, before I get the final question, any word of advice for any upcoming uh, women or non-binary that are coming up and trying to be someone as successful as you in a high position in a corporate world? Any advice for those upcoming people who are trying to make it? 100%. Um, two pieces of advice. First one is always stay true to your own unique point of view. There's a lot of people in the world trying to do creative um, and what helps you succeed is to have your own unique point of view, push that point of view, know what you love and just stick with it. You don't need to, don't look at what other people are doing, figure out what's, what's different and unique about you know what you have to bring and stick with that vision. And the other thing I always tell everyone is just to be kind. Industries are smaller than you think. You want to always be the type of person that somebody wants to work with. When they know they have to pick up the phone and call you or they have to email you, they're not like, ugh. Like, you want people to be excited to work with you, collaborate with you. So I think um, kindness is something that people sometimes forget. And I always try to be somebody that people want to work with. Thank you so much for sharing that. And then everyone, you can find all of your products over at SDCC. Um, you can be able to also order online at what's the website again? Loungefly.com. Thank you guys. See you next time.